Okay, today's challenge is to try to get some cold air to come out of this old air conditioner. I don't even know where I came from. I may have found it on the side of the road. I don't know. It's, it's seen better days for sure. Uh, the blower blows, but we, no, the compressor's not coming on. So I'm going to take it apart and see if I can't figure out why the compressor's not coming on. And see if we need to throw this in the trash pile or maybe we can get some cold air out of it. Let's find out. Well, you can see I started dissecting it. Uh, good news is, I jump over the relay and the compressor works. Actually, it blows great cold air. But the problem is here in the little circuit board. This relay here is not closing to turn on the compressor. Fan works fine, compressor will not come on. So I'm going to tinker with this. I'm going to try to take the solder off this, pull the relay, get it apart, see what it looks like. See if the points are burned up, stuck, or whatever. Can't do anything with that, then I could I'll just wire it up directly so just when we plug it up we'll have air. So I can still make a working air conditioner out of it. It just won't be all fancy with three speeds and all those the that kind of stuff. So I'll see how far I get, see what happens. Okay, so it's time for plan B. So I took my trusty little sorter iron and removed the relay. Remove the relay, I see it says it's here, it's 12 volts. So I took a 12 volt battery and applied current to it and tested it. The relay is good. So now that I know the relay is good, I know the problem is actually somewhere in the circuitry of this board. That's why it's not working. So I'm going to go to plan B and I'm just going to wire it up direct. So when you plug it up, it'll just come on and you have cold air. It's a uh, simple Simon, but if, you, if you're hot, you want to cool off, that's the way to go. So I will uh, work on that strategy. Okay, the start of plan B. So all I want out of this little window unit is I want the compressor to come on and I want high speed fan. So I gotta go to my schematic to figure that out. So let's see here. Here's our schematic. And we can see right here, because we've got a black wire coming in. And see here's the picture of the relay. That's what is bad. The circuit board, well let me back up. The relay is not bad. I tested it, the relay is good. But there's something about the circuit board that will not tell the relay to engage. I really can't fix the circuit board, so I'm just going to bypass all that. So what's going to happen when I'm done here in a few minutes, when if I do it right and I plug it up, it'll just come on. And all this other circuit board stuff will be cut out and not, not used anymore. So to make it down simple, so we've got a black wire comes in. There's a relay, and I follow it. That's black, black. That goes to the compressor. All right. So I know I just need to tie those two black wires together. Now i got to find, I want high-speed fan. So same way, here's my fan motor. I see there's low, medium, high. There's high. Follow it down. That's the red wire. So I know I need to tie the red wire also to the 120-volt side of where the compressor is. Tie those wires together, and it should work. So, uh, I've done some cutting here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to tie these, actually, these two black wires and this red wire, and we tie them together, and we'll do a test. Okay, so just like how I read the, in the schematic, I've got the two black wires tied together and the red, red wire. Of course, this is just a very temporary situation. I just want to make sure it works. Just got that done, and I got my extension cord. Let's give it a test, see what happens. There could be sparks. I don't know. It's rattling. And I feel heat. So the compressor is working. Get this stuff moving around here. So it is working. And look, we've already got frost. Already getting cold. Now, okay, ice cold, ice cold, turn this thing off, alright, got it turned off, so I do know it will work, so now I just got to finish up my wiring, make it tight, nice, neat, so no shock hazards or anything like that. And clean everything up and we'll have a working air conditioner so this was on the side of the road going to be thrown out 
and by going through it, checking it out, I didn't didn't cost me nothing, didn't take no parts. I just uh, just had to re-engineer it. We'll call it that. Now the reason I do this is with rental properties, sometimes you you'll have a central air unit go out. Could be something major, compression could fail, and it's maybe a week before we get it fixed. Well, the renter's not going to be happy if it's in, in Kentucky and it's 100 degrees, 100 percent humidity. So if you got a three bedroom home, it's going to take several of these air conditioners to keep it cooled off. So I always try to keep a supply, three or four of these things sitting around. So if that happens, I can run them over there and at least uh, get them some comfort anyway, if the central air goes out. So let me think about this wiring situation, tidy things up, and uh, we'll get this wrapped up. Okay, you see there, don't that look like a lot nicer, neater? I got pulled out the transformer, got rid of the old circuit boards, the circuit board, transformer, don't need that no more. Just power to make the fan and compressor operate. So I got that done, I'll finish putting this together. Next thing I do, I've got to do is give this a good cleaning, try to take it a little bit further apart, because that's another problem with these things. You can't see too well in there, I'll maybe get a better light here in a minute. Is getting those coils clean because you may look on this side and say oh those coils look great but the problem is all the dirt is ingested on on this side as that fan turns it's pushing out that hot air well it's drawing in all the dirt and dust from this side and there's no filter just whatever the surrounding air is you're cutting grass and stirring up dirt and debris around your window unit it sucks it right in plugs up those fins and unless you take it apart you can't you'll never see it it looks great out here but you'll, you'll be restricting airflow from the inside. So i uh, finish buttoning this up a little bit and see if I can't get this plastic lid off and look down in there and see what it looks like. Well, I've taken it apart a little bit so I can see in here. And really, it's not too bad compared to what I've seen in the past. The, the inside coil looks pretty nice. Outside coil is pretty crody. You see, like, all that nasty stuff. Unless you take it apart, you can't see that. So about a third of the airflow is getting shut off. So that's really bad. So I've got some acid stuff here made for this kind of work. I'll spray that on there and this stuff will foam all up. Get all melted off there and we'll get it all cleaned up really good. Shined up. Take me a credit card and straighten out these fins a little bit. And we'll have a nice working air conditioner. I got to looking on the tag. I noticed this was a... Uh, Got R22 in it, so it's at least 10 years old because that's when they phased it out about 2010. But and it's 8,000 BTU, so that's a nice cooling air conditioner to put out some some nice cold air. So let's uh, take her outside and spray it with with this acid and hose it down. So it's starting to do its thing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. Maybe not. But anyway, it's it's kind of steaming. It, it produces so much heat. And it gets in there working. So all that's foaming up, pushing the dirt out. It'll be nice and shiny and clean when I get done with it. So all that crud's coming loose. Of course, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, so that's why I'm out here with the, the flashlight doing this. Nasty, nasty. And here's the front side. It's foaming up. Well, that's it set here for a few minutes, then I'll get the hose to it. Rinse it up real well. We'll have a, like a new air conditioner. It won't look new, but it'll, it'll cool like a new one. Well, it's the next day. You see your coils are much cleaner now. It's going to really cool good now. Let's get all this put back together. And see how the, the fins are dinged up? I'm straightening them up some. The simplest way I found is just use an old credit card. Because you can come down here. And just follow it. Let me get it in here. Just follow that up. And just, it just, what's well, hard to hear to one handed. But anyway, you get the idea. And just drag it up. Do that to each, each little fin. And it gets them straightened up. Make them look a lot better. Get the air flowing. I'm going to finish that up, put it, more, put it all back together, plug it up, and we'll see what kind of cold air we get out of it. Okay, it's the next day. Got it running. I want to point out a couple things. See that rattling noise? Well, this copper line is beating against that metal frame right here. If it's 
if you let that what, do that long enough, it will eventually um, wear a hole in that copper line. So just take you some tube and slice it, put it over there, slide it down, like that. Problem solved. Take care of it. And then unplug it here. Okay, I don't know if you heard it or not. Anyway, this, this tube was beating and banging, making all kinds of racket. And if you leave that alone, uh, if you don't fix that, it'll eventually wear a hole for that copper line. You lose all, all your free on. So I put a little piece of rubber tubing on there and fix that. But uh, all the coils are nice and clean now. The fans are clean. The squirrel cage, look how clean the squirrel cage is now. Spotless. And so now air's, air's going to flow much better. Get more cooling out of it. Uh, oh, I was going to show you. Well, I don't take it in the house. Take an old credit card. It works out really well to straighten up these fins with when they get all bent over. Well, use your imagination. If this was a credit card, you just stick it right in the, in the fins where it's good. Slide up as you slide up. When you get to the bad spot, just kind of wiggle, 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 and it'll, stra it'll straighten it right up. So that's what I did. I took a credit card and cleaned that up a little bit. Uh, what else was I going to point out? Uh, oh, now I know what I was going to do. Okay, see down in here, you got your fan, but you also got this ring around the fan. That's a, a pickup ring. It picks up water and throws it on the, the surface of the of the coil. It helps it cool and get, helps get the heat out, makes it more efficient. A lot of times you'll see these window units hanging out of the back. Of, uh, instead of being level, they tilt them way steep. They shouldn't be that way. You might have a slight tilt, but if you look at the manual, a lot of them, they want them to be level or maybe just a, just a hair tilted, not very much. Because you do want water to stand in there because that makes it more efficient. So don't think you're doing it any favors by putting a real steep angle on it. Because you're not. Okay, well, I'm going to finish straightening up the fins a little bit and start putting the cabinet on there. And uh, we'll see how, how it cools and see if this is going to be a success or not. There. 56 degrees coming out. 56 on one end, 101 on the other. So she's doing a great job. Okay. It's a little bit quieter. She might not be pretty, but it puts out cold air and makes someone comfortable if, if we need, need it later. So anyway, drag something out of the trash and got it running and kept it out of the landfill. And now you can do yours the same way when you find one sitting on the side of the road. Just dig into it and see if you can't fix it. It's already broke. You ain't got nothing to lose. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.